Hi everyone! I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I started school two weeks ago and I already have a ton of work. Making YouTube videos is something that takes me a lot of time, so please bear with me. I'll try my best to still post videos from time to time. Okay, enough about that, let's begin. Here's my inspiration, a watercolor painting from Misty Blue Art. As soon as I saw this painting, I knew I wanted it on my nails because it's so pretty. I started off with a peel-off base coat and a white polish, as I usually do for nail art that involves a gradient. Then I'm loading up my sponge with this coral and pink paint. I'm only applying the coral to one third of the sponge because I want to have a gradient only in the sky. I promise it will make sense soon. I dabbed it on my nails in a couple of coats until I reached full opacity. But wait, I'm blinded by the hollow on my other hand. It's this gorgeous silver holographic polish. For those of you who are fans of Simply, you may have already noticed that it's rainbow snow from Hollow Taco. Okay, back to the nail art. I just finished the gradient and now I'm gonna clean up my skin. Again, I don't have liquid latex, but Halloween is coming, so I'll be able to buy liquid latex in store! How weird would it be when I actually have it and this stops being a running gag? <laughs> So for the sea, I started by making a line for the horizon. I blended it with diluted water. Then I made random lines on each side. I just had fun with it. For the sun, I painted a circle with slightly diluted water and faded the edges. Then, using the same diluted paint, I added the reflection in the water. I blended the edges too. With a dotting tool, I added the center of the sun in white. Next up are the clouds. Again, with diluted paint, but this time in pink, I painted clouds. In no particular pattern. I tried to focus them on the pink part of the sky. Make smaller ones too. Now for the lighthouse. You can see I painted dots as guide because I paint my nails upside down for the tutorials. So yeah, I started with the base and the body. Then I added more details and began painting the top part. I'll stop trying to describe this to you because you can just see for yourself and I'm just recreating the lighthouse as best as I can. Now that the hard part is over, I painted the black reflection in the water. Also, to follow the painting, I added the birds. Okay, after way too many steps, we are done! All that is left is to add a glossy top coat. You may need two, cause paint tends to soak up the top coat. So yeah, that's it! Here you have it, a dreamy seascape nail art. I love how it turned out. I know it's a lot of freehand, but I don't know how many of you actually watch these to recreate them. Let me know in the comments! If you enjoyed this video, you can give me a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also click on the bell to turn on notifications to be sure to never miss a future video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!